Hello. Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. Whatever part of the world you're in when you're listening to this, welcome to Psychic Talk. I'm your host, Priscilla Gendron, and it's an absolute pleasure to be back again. And let me tell you, it's we're having a deluge of rain here. It is like pouring down with rain. Um, so much for our, our summer holidays. <laughs> Karen in the beautiful South Africa, it was absolutely bucketing of rain. I'm just saying we needed a, a little boat to get out of the house just now. So um, it's my absolute pleasure and uh, privilege as well to bring back a former guest of mine um, back into the fold um, after a longer ages for myself and for him. So for me, it's a great pleasure to welcome back Paul Quinton. Welcome back, Paul. Thank you, Priscilla. It's great to be back on. Great to see us. Back in action, <laughs> having a chat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's uh, yeah, yeah, it's good to be back on. Thank you. Yes. So, so um, Paul, yeah. I wanted to ask you. So, what have you been up to since we've we, we've last spoken? Because it's been quite a while since we were last last connected. Yes, yes. So, um, well, I've been doing my usual sort of channel messages and uh, my Facebook group, posting on my Instagram and obviously my podcast. Um, but last year, it was really, I had to rewrite my book um, and take some of the old language out because I wrote it pre COVID. And after COVID, I really looked at it and I thought, because the evolution of the energy's changed so much on the planet, I had to strip it all back rewrite it and I actually ended up adding another 40,000 words so it's actually a double the size now um, uh, we've, we've removed a lot of the old stuff as well um, so I've just been fine-tuning that and that's taken a lot longer than, than expected um, you know if you go backwards and forwards with the editing process so that's taken quite a bit of time so and my um, so that's been the main focus that's just going out now uh, with my literary agent so we should get a publisher this year um, and I've been um, just producing and sort of um, redoing my alignment modality, which is my teaching platform. Um, and I'm just about to write module five, which is the actual practitioner level. So um, the, the, the alignment modality, um, I might as well go into it now to sort of explain a little yeah. bit, um, is, is, a, is a channeled process for the new age renaissance of consciousness, the new human being that we're all moving into. Now we're in that transitional period now. And obviously 2023 was the birth of the Aquarian age, the official birth, the feminine coming back in. So this is very apt with how we're shifting our awareness and consciousness. So it's it's four modules. Anyone can do the first four modules. You can do the fifth, but if you don't want to be a practitioner, um, and I'll explain them as I go through. But basically it's four modules that are laid out in a way where each module gives you time to integrate. So we normally have between three to five months between each module because there's a process that needs to occur. There's a lot of transformation that's happening because what's happened, this, this, this modality is an awakening modality. So it's bringing you into an, a realm of consciousness that already exists around us. So it's the new renaissance of consciousness, the new earth. So that frequency has to have a process where it's not too debilitating because we can't bring everything out too fast because everyone is very conditioned You've got multidimensional, interdimensional lives affecting us now. So that can you can heal this life, but then something else happens tomorrow in another life and it's going to affect you as well. Because what's happening is our DNA now is starting to merge. So the DNA of our parallel lifetimes, which people call past, but mo there's only the present moment, they're all happening, most of them now, is merging with this DNA. Now, this is what's causing a lot of birth defects as well, because the body's rejecting it as a foreign uh, entity but it's not it's actually a multi-dimensional dna from your own soul body um so what's happening is that process is causing a lot of disruption in the emotional mental bodies um and this is why people are uh, very sick at the moment why a lot of things are coming out um and because of that denied repressed trauma that emotional body that's been denied and repressed uh for eons of time is now coming to the surface because every soul on the planet has come to their physical extension, their, their human self, and said, we now need to awaken you. We now need to bring you into the non-physical reality because, you know, you are living in the illusion. So you now have to become back, you know, you have to awaken to what you are as a, as a real being, a universal light being. 
So this is causing disruption with a lot of people because people are in denial and are in fear of, of, of merging with that consciousness. And this is most in most people's unconscious, obviously. You talk to the man down the street, you know, they just see the narrative in front of them, but they're feeling everything like we're all feeling because you can't deny a repressed emotional body. Everyone's like that. So the moment alignment modality, module one is really a process of we do some activations, a bit like um like Reiki would do an activation, but very different. Uh, and this is a rite of passage. It's an initiation like you would do in the old temple days, like in your ancient civilizations, like you know, your Atlantis, your, your Lemuria, you know, Egypt, all of those types of places. And don't forget, those those are quite um, recent civilizations. The real stuff that we used to do, like it could be millions of years ago, where we first came here um, as different races. Um, and this is initiation back into... Um, awakening your full potential uh, and removing the veil so the activation starts that process we do some astrology but not the traditional astrology this is a healing astrology so this is how you work with the essences the planets and we introduce you to elemental medicine so we give you some stuff to take as well to process and this is to trigger everything that is denied um, that's the first module and we really it's really about getting the ego in a place where it feels safe to let go so we work a lot with the conscious mind in the first one. So there's a lot of teaching. We do some one-on-ones. There's a lot of practical work because we're trying to develop the psychic senses and build people's intuition, but more importantly, build rapport with the process so they trust it. So that, that's module one. And then you need a few months of that for the activations to start processing. Then module two is all about the shadow. So it's all about the shadow mechanisms. So we go into the brain, we go into the hypothalamus, uh, we go into vaccine removal, religious program removal. Um, there's there's radioactivity, heavy metals. There, there's loads of stuff in module two. And this is about taking the imprints. We even work with sugar. There's an imprint in the DNA in the first three strands. And if you can look at it psychically, it's got like a coating around it. So every time you take sugar into the body, that program that's been placed there causes a negative effect in the body, which is why, why sugar is so dangerous on the planet for a lot of people. But what we do is we remove the imprint. So when you take sugar in, it sort of neutralizes. Now, obviously, you still need to be aware, not, you know, if your body says don't eat it, then don't eat it, you know. But ultimately, if you are eating it, you're not having that dangerous effects. Uh, and that's what we do with the re religious stuff, the heavy metals, like I said, the vaccines as well, take the imprints of those out. Um, so every time you're not getting triggered. And this is to sort of bring your cellular information back into alignment with your higher consciousness. So the only reason your higher consciousness cannot connect in with most people is, is the blockage is through inadequacy, it's through the cellular, subcellular um, and belief systems and obviously a clogged emotional body. So that starts to really let the brain release and let go. We work a lot with the reptilian brain as well. There's actually a, a low grade frequency wave band. It's about 20 hertz that they put around the free, uh, uh, the reptilian brain and it sort of causes you to sort of capitulate unconsciously. You know, it drives the ego into questioning and into despair. So you're always questioning yourself. This is why we're always in judgment of ourselves. It also carries the energy of um, Mars. So Mars is, is 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 sort of from when we sort of the energy of Mars that we're still imprinted into our DNA or our cells is destruction because obviously there was a great war there. So we carry that loneliness and despair of the Mars energy in our DNA or in our cells. So and that's also plugged in and wired into the reptilian brain so this is it, it stops you from sort of accessing stellar consciousness your awareness of who you are um and like i said it's it's if you have the loneliness and despair this is what you see at the base of a lot of human beings when you go into uh their emotional body and this is from lifetimes of of missing being misinformed about who they are and why things are happening um so that process is very, very interesting. And then module three, we do some more activations. Each module has a different part of the astrology as well. Uh, elemental medicine. So we give you planet frequency medicine. So again, start triggering you, start to align you again with the planets. Um, and then ultimately three will be a process of introducing the Syrian consciousness. Now, the Syrians are one of the, the five races that seeded the earth. Um, and they physically incarnated as the ancient Egyptians. So they sort of look after the soul body. So they will come into your house. They'll come into your room. You'll start to feel sense and you can start to build your own relationship with them. Now, I work with two different other frequencies. My main channeling is for a Viridian consciousness. 
their tenth density beings. Um, they were involved in a lot of the earth uh, when it was being created and water. They're the ones that channel most of my information, and also channel. They're the male energy, or they work more with the mental energy. And the Algorians are the feminine. Now, Al Gore is a star in our constant in one of our constellations. Um, back in the day, Al Gore was depicted as it's the raw feminine energy. So actually, Medusa was created. The archetype Medusa was created from that star because deep down the male energy fears the masculine. Because when the feminine, sorry, the yeah, masculine fears the feminine. Because when the feminine is in full rage, there's no more powerful force. Um, and so they they represent that Lilith energy, you know, the Lilith, the denied, repressed, raging energy. And this is going to awaken in a lot of females in the next couple of years. And it's already been happening, um, but it's going to augment itself because all of that suppression and, 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 and energy. And it's also in the male, the male human, but the human man has been repressing his feminine energy for a long time. So again, it's going to erupt in a different way in the masculine, but the feminine is going to is going to bring that voice back. It's going to bring... I'm not going to put up with this anymore. You know, I'm going to feel my feelings. I'm going to allow myself to express those feelings uh, uninterrupted, uh, without guilt, without fear of reprisal. Uh, and this is what's happening again unconsciously. So module three starts to really detach you from human collective consciousness in a way where you become a person that is not caught in the vibrational field any longer. Because ultimately, if you stay in the cesspit of of human collective and i say cesspit because we are feeding it with so much fear anger negativity negative thinking that when you work on yourself to stay in that vibration it's, it's unsettling so you can't really you know you do you start to detach from people and situations that are not in alignment with your soul anymore and that's a very healthy thing um so that's the sort of process of really detaching you so you can actually start to feel your own power feel safe in your body and not be plugged into all the fear propaganda that's going on. Uh, and then you can actually get on with your life purpose uninterrupted. And that's a very beautiful thing. Um, there's, like I said, there's a few activations. And we start to work a lot with the base chakra and the hypothalamus in three, because the hypothalamus is the physical um, um, consciousness of the soul body. So all of the denied repressed trauma that the soul carries physically incarnates into the hypothalamus. Excuse me. So that carries the stress of all the other lifetimes. Our base chakra is the one that most of humanity is stuck in. So every time they put a crisis on the TV or the fuel crisis, you know, the money crisis, whatever, it's there to stimulate your base chakra, to keep you in fear, in survival. Because when you're in fear and survival, you're not thinking about self-inquiry. You're not thinking about working on yourself. You're just thinking about putting money on the table, uh, you know, food on the yeah. table, et cetera. So, and this is what they're doing to us. So we actually start to bring... We create an oscillation between the two to one releases the other. And it starts to really bring a lot of the consciousness back into the body. And we also, now when that's funny enough, when they um we when they when they cut Einstein's head open, when they did the autopsy, he had one brain. There was no two hemispheres. Spirit said to me very clearly, our brains are now going back to that because we're not living in that duality. And that's why he had the ability to bring through all of that information. And he uses imagination. He never uses logical thinking. So we teach you how to manifest like how Einstein used to through the imagination because it's our most powerful tool. Um, and the Viridians that I work with, when they'll come in because they do a lot of the work, this is a non-physical modality, which, you know, I'm guiding it and talking and blah, blah, blah. Yes. A lot of spirit happening. So they actually come in and they actually form an energetic wave between the two brain hemispheres. This creates a magnetic force field that draws in the original divine algorithm which is the one and zero a bit like a computer program that's the male and female aspects now this original algorithm is the dna coding of the prime creator feminine and masculine aspects meaning that our genetic your dna dna is different to mine everyone's dna is different that's how you can yeah right but there's one thing the same and that's that code so when that code comes back into the body it awakens the light body consciousness so then you are able to then let go of the suffering paradigm because we no longer need to suffer any longer. Spirit said we're actually going backwards now because we're not going into self-inquiry. They said we're too caught up in entertainment. They say, human beings on this planet, it's, it's got ridiculous. All they want to be is entertained. They want to look at themselves. And this is becoming a, a real problem, especially for the non-physical, because they're trying to wake people up and they're not listening. 
COVID was a prime example. People just didn't listen after COVID. They went back to their diaries, they went back to their shopping. And, you know, you saw the drop in social media. It was crazy. Um, so really, this is a process that's done in a way where your soul can work with you between set, between modules and really integrate this process because it takes a good 18 months, two years, really, to fully align with it. And you'll still have things to work on because you're not just healing this lifetime. You're healing all of your lifetimes because we're so the code sorry so the code that that um we uh, process and bring down is it different with everybody or is it the same code it's the same original it's coding it's the original same original coding, coding yeah, that yeah. then but in our own lives we then will apply it in a different way because we'll all see the code in a different way won't we yes but the coding really is to awaken us up to the agenda for the planet and what we're doing we know when we incarnated this lifetime that the planet is shifting its consciousness. So you actually is very, very lucky to be alive on the planet right now. This is a, this is a marvel. And from what spirit have told me, obviously they always say consciousness is not perfect. So they don't know what's happening sometime. And they said that, you know, the planet is, we are shifting without a great fall, without a great flood. Generally what happens, we go, we hit this, destruction which we're about to do now we're on that destruction point but it won't happen this time they said it will not happen because the earth has decided she's moving on she's enlightening her, her emotional body she's moving back up into that newer vibration we are guests on the planet so if you want to stay on the planet you have to work on yourself too otherwise it comes down to the atom her at the atom is going to be spinning faster and if you're still in a 3d dense body you can't exist in this different framework. You just, it doesn't work. So the body just lets go and then you pass over. That's fine. This is all agreed on a soul level. Nothing goes against your will if you die mm. because your soul has decided. So, you know, it's, <laughs> so ultimately this will not happen now because the earth is meant to shine again, bright, like it did back in the ancient days. Um, and one thing they did say is that um, this whole one government that they're trying to do, centralize the banking system, they're not going to allow it because that's been in our new age movement. That voice has been in there for like 20, 30 years. Uh, and if it happened, it would cause a lot of problems for people. People's sovereignty yeah. would dissolve. Um, and they were very clear that's one of the things that, that they're working on. So there's there's no way this, this uh, you want to call it, negative paradigm that's happening on the planet now is going to survive. Um, and they also said we have to go through this chaos now to rebirth. And, and it will be the darkest of dark before the lightest of light. And this happens in every cycle. And we've done this a lot, many exactly. times. You know, it's like Matrix when Neo went in, he said, you're the 40, <laughs> or something, 47th time you've been here or something. <laughs> <laughs> says, that movie was so apt. It was so spot on. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it was a little bit close to the truth and they would like us. Oh, to, very, uh, very close. I'm surprised. Realised in a sense. Actually. There's a, there's a lot of truth. And, um, oh, you know, if you listen to all the, these people out there that, um, have recorded things 20, 30 years ago and suddenly now it applies and they think, well, how did they know to record that? And now yeah. these situations are perpetuated and now are, uh, you know, manifesting in, in our time. Yeah. So it, it all, it's all planned down to yeah. the little, the finest detail. Absolutely, absolutely. And the good thing, like when you, this is a good thing that you understand that we teach you to, understand that fear and emotional energy is actually not the enemy we're taught to suppress our emotions we fear our emotions we fear going into that pain but we use universal laws of observation imagination divine current space and, and acknowledgement and though when you utilize these laws it's very very simple because the universe works that way and emotional energy works that way so when you utilize that process it simplifies everything. It takes the struggle out of doing healing and working on yourself because you just follow a very, very simple formula and it processes because by universal law, it wants to go. The irony is the emotion and fear wants out of you as much as you want it gone because these emotions, you can talk to them. I, I sometimes speak with, with my, I'm doing a, tr a treatment with a client and I can speak to their anger for 10 minutes and they will tell me a whole story of this of the person and why the anger, why the energy is there and that you're actually because consciousness emotions are alive they're conscious like talking to an animal or a plant so fear does not have to be in this vibration any longer so it's the same as time time left i think it was 2016 that's why the old week feels like 3 days now uh, we don't i know it, and it feels like time and it's yeah. in its essence is also sped up i mean we yeah, already yeah totally into I january like it was you know 
Yeah, it's crazy. Just I mean, last it's, year. Oh God. Yeah, yeah. But you can speed time up and slow it down. I do that all the time. When I go on holiday, I slow it down, and it re- and it really is like the old days. It's very long and slow. And if I'm having a bad day, I speed it up. And it and it's because you're sure we're, there's no such thing as linear time. It's our consciousness is plugged into it. So if you can exactly. if remove that, you know, and there's 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 lots of things that we teach, little tricks and how to process things and and communicate with other souls to get things happening for you. Uh, and there, there's loads of stuff. But yeah, ultimately, just to finish off, so module four, we go into more of that. Um, there's more activations, more of the astrology, uh, and a deeper esoteric knowledge. And we really go into um, starting to get, develop the psychic centers and, uh, and and the intuition. And then obviously practitioner level, I'm just about to write. But that will be a real process of becoming a accredited um, uh, practitioner. Because the alignment modality is patented now. It's insured in about 35 countries. It's recognized. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's got everything that goes. It's been with a it. long process with you to get this to where it is now. So I must commend you at that because it's taken a lot, lot of blood, sweat, and tears to to get yeah, to this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just got one more to do now. That's the practice. So I'm going to crack on in that <laughs> couple of weeks, get it done. So that'd be good. Uh, and then it's nice to have that sort of finished and 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 in a process. And the good thing about this modality is it's it's changing, it evolves, so it's not stuck. You know, I'll do module one next week, and I'll do it in a, a year, two years' time. It could be very different. There'll still be the basics there, but you know, yes. as consciousness changes. We bring new stuff in, and you know, and people are going to be a lot more awake in five years' time. So it's going to be a whole different way of teaching it. So it's good. It's an adapting, evolving modality. Excuse me. So yeah, yeah, it's fantastic, and. Um, just a new way of life um, and a new exactly. way of understanding ourselves. So, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And um, so so what has the, the universe got in store for us this year, you know, in terms of the work that you're doing and, you know, the journey that we're taking as uh, as humanitarians and as humanity in itself, what what is what is in store for us this year? These next time? two years, next two mm-hmm. years are self-inquiry. Uh, I'm going to read off a message in a minute, which gives the forecast yeah. for this year. I think that's quite apt for your for your listeners, uh, and then they'll explain. But ultimately, it's all about self inquiry now um, to stay out of the mainstream feed because the the good thing about it is if you watch the news and you get triggered by the news, whether it's fear, sadness, anger, whatever it is, they are your emotions. It's not about the story. So exactly. it's very important that you work on those emotions. Okay, so any trigger that's coming up now, your soul is mirroring back to you those emotions so you can work on them. Because what will happen, you'll get angry watching the news and you'll sip that anger, you'll discuss it with people and you're discussing the story. Has nothing to do with the story. Has to do with your anger. You're angry at that because because you would be able to look at everything happening in the world from a non-physical perspective and not be triggered emotionally at all. Because you understand duality is processing itself. Light and dark or shadow are the same consciousness. They're just different ends of the spectrum. One's always feeding the other, and they're always in service of each other. So when you see something negative happening, there's a positive running parallel to it. Always. And it's vice versa. So, And that's when we understand that duality is it, it, it's not really duality. Um, you become very empowered, but you detach in a way where you can actually hold more space for people because you can hold space without being triggered. And this is why a lot of therapists burn out after 10 years, because the emotions that they're working with their clients, they're feeling in themselves and they're not working on themselves. So what happens is that depletes your immune system and subcellular, it actually works on the subcellular level, it depletes it. And this is what, yeah, this is what causes a lot of um, dystrophy in therapists. Um, because exactly, because not, a lot of therapists don't take care of themselves they they're so busy right. helping everybody else and yeah. feeding into it and helping and, and healing everybody else and then when it comes to yourself you're so exhausted you just go to bed kind of thing yeah. so you don't work on yourself yeah and yeah. You, know, you and I were chatting beforehand and I, t- I was telling you about how ill I've been and how much my journey has changed and yeah. I had to stop and take care of myself and take care of business because yeah, you know, you you only have one vessel that you're traveling around in this this world with at this moment, um, yeah. and you've got to take care of it and make sure that the vessel that you're traveling around in is is okay and and you know, mind, body, soul is is in good good standing kind of thing. Yeah, so you've yeah. got to take care of yourself. Absolutely. Otherwise, you can't. If you're not fixed, how can you fix someone else? And it's a good thing, like exactly. you said, you had your ten months, but you you had to listen. You could have kept pushing yourself. But 
you rebirthed in that time. You had to process that. And your illness, like everyone else's, was ancient trauma moving through your system. So it exactly. was really, it's, and you gave space for that. And that's that's fantastic. So, you know, and that's, yeah. it takes it takes a brave soul to say, oh, I'm going to stop as well. Because our mind. Yeah, it was very hard for me. Yeah. yeah. Because we're so, we've got to work, we've got to do this, we've got to do that. No, 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 no. I've got to pay the bills and I've got to work <laughs> and I've got to put on the table. And, yeah. you know, it, yeah. it, it is, it, it is difficult to, to give yourself time. Yeah, yeah. And that's what we've forgotten as, as human beings is we forgot to give ourselves time. Yes. We're so busy, rush, rush, rush to the next thing or, you know, speeding on the highway or rushing to the next thing or the next adventure or the next fix or the next hype. Yeah. That we yeah. forgot to just stop and just smell the roses. Exactly, exactly. Less is more, like they say now, because this is just this is the process exactly. of surrender now. So the spiritual warrior stands still, draws everything to them. And they don't want us to strive, struggle. No more masculine energy to get things done. You actually now surrender and allow it to come to you. So through the surrender process, and this again, what we teach, bring that feminine energy out of your system, have a magnet for it, and everything will come to you because that is your soul contract. The soul is infinitely abundant. The universe is infinitely abundant. It's impossible not to have everything. It's absolutely impossible. Exactly. So again, it's about surrender and receiving, not doing you will do when you have to, like it says, right, your soul goes, you're receiving this message. This is what I want you to do. That's when you use your masculine energy. Right, go and write a new website. Go and write a book. No problem. But there's a joy there because you're channeling it. You're, you're in that process. It's coming from you, your inner self, not from the programming, societal programming, or because you believe you have to do that. Uh, so it takes on a very different uh, frequency. So that's where we want to get everyone to feeling good about, good, you know, about their purpose and exactly and, yeah and, and you have you have your modalities uh, throughout the year yes how, how big are your your groups that you have i don't take more than 12 people because i like to keep it intimate so yeah i take 12 people at a time because it's all online uh and that way okay so it's all online okay yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah, I know sometimes you... people like to, to do it online and others like to have it in you know in physical form things like yeah that. yeah i will do eventually but um i generally have three or four continents on each group so we have people in america we have people in australia and everyone comes on i never get that if we we're doing it local so uh exactly. at the moment, spirit just you know they just they just said do it online so i'm happy with that i'm just following that process um so yeah it's really good next one's running in april module one so yeah oh fantastic yeah. no it's, and, and i know we've been we've been, been connected for a couple of years and i know how much work you've put into all of this um and how successful it has been and will continue to be um so, you know, um, Paul is going to um, finish off the session with a um, uh, guided uh, um, meditation. Is it meditation? No, it's a ch guided... channel message. Channel, channel message. message. So, um, yeah, I just um, I put this on my group for uh, sort of 2024. Just, a, yeah. you know, predictions, message from spirit. Um, and I often do these types of messages. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll read it off now. So this is basically for the, the coming year. All right. So uh, this was channeled about two weeks ago, so still very timely. Many of you are awakening to a dormant frequency that is ready to be acknowledged. The time is now for self-inquiry and transformation. You are remembering in yourselves that to search outwardly is the illusion of matter. Steadfast readiness and potential is the energy of 2024. It is your heart's truest desire. Sitting idle awakens lethargy. You no longer need to be puppets on a string this year. It's about questioning the narrative and seeking your own answers from within. There are many sad experiences on the planet as we speak, hugely traumatic for the participants and even those watching the trauma and the suffering. We tell you now, this is divinely orchestrated, for nothing goes against anyone's will. What you must, what sorry, what you must all understand this year is things will be perceived to get worse, and that is okay. For the depth of the darkness must be experienced before you awaken in the new earth frequency. They are trying to push the AI model because deep down they fear their humanity. They fear their true power, so they would rather give it away. Technology must match the frequency 
of a heart desired in light. When an unprocessed, conditioned, emotional body produces technology, it will be out of alignment. AI is meant to do the heavy lifting. However, the creators of this technology are out of alignment with their own inner power. And this is where the problem lies. So there will be a great debate this year. Until you advanced your technology in alignment, it's wise to speak up against anything that doesn't feel right. Human collective consciousness is the most powerful tool you have to affect change or stay in servitude. This is your choice. There are many ancient sea creatures coming back to the surface. They are a reminder of a collapsed society. All of you know in your hearts the destruction you have caused on this planet in different earth cycles. And it's the fellowship of man that these beings now wish to align with. Many of them are non-physical, but they mirror the devastation created from the ego without the love of the soul when it was allowed to reign supreme. The financial world will be a talk for many of you. The shadow forces are trying to suppress this awakening period by holding you in fear. And the money system has been one of the greatest control mechanisms on the planet. Do not be alarmed. There is no such thing as scarcity or lack. The universe is infinitely abundant. This is just a game being played out to manipulate your own will. Do not listen to the propaganda. Because as soon as you do, and you fear the information, you are out of alignment with your soul. And the puppet show continues. You all agree to have this experience, so there is no judgment. However, the original source algorithm is reconnecting to this planet to awaken and move out of the old cycle. And in order to do that, you must be aware of the shadow forces. You cannot transform something or awaken to anything if you do not understand it. Many of you will become ill with respiratory and throat issues. This is the denial that you are a non-physical being with the refusal to release trauma. This is now surfacing. You are all fully able to govern yourself. You do not need someone to tell you what to do. What you do need to understand is that you have a soul overseeing your physical incarnation and it is tired of not being heard. Your soul is the life force that allows you to even move in your body and open your eyes in the morning. Without the soul, there is no experience here. It doesn't ma matter how intelligent you are through academia, what you've achieved on this planet, how you are perceived by others, because ultimately, until you go into self-inquiry, uncover the trauma from many lifetimes, that has been denied, you can no longer be in alignment with the heartbeat of Mother Earth. The energy this year sits in the sacral chakra of Earth. Her desire is to receive the feminine frequency to awaken a new creative pursuit for the enhancement of the human population. To awaken in all of you the innocence of your inner child that you have denied since you were eight years old. The cornerstone of all healing is surrender. And when you surrender to the soul body, each step will be given to you easily and effortlessly. This year is about surrendering the mind in a way that enhances your life instead of the constant negative chatter, false belief systems and illusionary pursuits. This year will feel very heavy for a lot of you. And that is the weight of human denial coming to the surface. However, you can navigate a different path if your desire is to let go of the old framework, the old ways of doing things and your belief systems about who you are and what lies beyond the physical world. For none of you really know or remember, and it's been set up this way to ultimately, so you can trust your feelings again, which are the governing force of all universes. Logic alone will not save you or the planet. So we say you must work on yourself first before you go out and try and help another. It is very important, so you are a mirror of the transformation people are seeking. Desire needs to be felt in your heart, not from your base chakras. 
and your base chakras will be stimulated this year through excess, glamour, and materialism. Feel first before you embark on any desire. You are being tested in some ways to bring those feelings into the heart. And what was desired before may not be the case now. However, your mind will tell you the opposite. As you say, dangling a carrot, that is the highlight of this year. World politics will augment and confuse the politicians, populations. If you listen carefully, you will see and feel the misinformation and how much out of alignment they really are. A year of transparency for you to finally see and feel your own truth. But more importantly, see how the world is mirroring back to you the dysfunction that you all hold in your cellular memory. You feel locked in a prison, and in a sense you are because you are out of alignment with your own feelings. You will see a heightened panic and anxiety in people around you. It is only happening because they are in denial of what they feel within. This energy needs to be expressed, and it cannot be suppressed any longer. And if denied or ignored, it will manifest in such a way including depleting the physical body. They are looking to release a new form of oxygen therapy to enhance the mitochondria in the cells, which will increase the healing process. It is more advanced than your current oxygen tanks. Let go of trying to control outcomes, surrender to the soul and all will be revealed. It's going to be a challenging time for many of you because your egos have been in control for so long and you have started to believe the narrative your mind has told you. We say to you very clearly, you are not who you think you are. You are all magnificent, empowered beings that have lost touch with their identity. There will be a few strange experiences around the world. This is spirit and the extraterrestrial community in operation. There are many operations currently running on the planet, but ultimately the earth is awakening from her adolescence and rejoining a galactic brethren. And you are all welcome to awaken this truth yourself and become part of the wider community. Control and illusion. The game of smoke and mirrors has been a very interesting experience, but this time is up. And, cont and to continue in the illusion will only be suffering to your mind, to your body and your emotions. If you find yourself suffering this year, you should reach out to someone that can truly help you. Someone that understands the esoteric and emotional energy. You will not find answers through the mainstream any longer. Feel before you embark on any journey. Only then will your mind know the right answer. We don't like to give too many predictions on outwardly pursuits because ultimately all the dysfunction on your planet has come from misunderstanding who you are. And in order to fix the planet, as you like to say, you must fix your inner self first. And that is why we give you this message. And be careful how many psychic messages you listen to, for some are deliberately put there to create fear and panic. So your discernment is called upon for all information this year that is passed around. We are forever in your service and we can be called upon at any time. Wow. There you go. <laughs> That's a long one. That's a, a lot to take in. You have to really <laughs> digest that. And um, it, it's true. You've got to take everything that's being told at the moment um, in, you know, the esoteric realm as well as the mainstream media with a pinch of salt because, you know, Hello. everything is it is very heavily salted, as we shall we say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even when I'm doing my teaching, I say, I say to them, even before they come, I said, feel don't just sign up for the modality because if you're coming from your head you know don't don't come you have exactly. to feel it you have to feel that this is right for you and i make sure people feel that and i, I generally talk to people before make sure they're in alignment because this is a process of really transforming it's not just something to go and do on a saturday this is this is you know and also exactly. like i said even when i'm doing my messages to my group i said don't just believe what i'm telling you feel the words don't just believe it because this is the problem. We just believe everything we, we are told. And this is the problem with the news narratives. So I always get, you know, you've got to feel the information. Does that feel right? Does that resonate? Um, mm. and then that, that's your guide because your feelings will not lie to you. They are your own true guide. So very much so. And and 2024 is a year of self-discovery and us, us finally stepping into our own true being of who we are and 
finally embracing ourselves 100%. And I think that um, your modality is coming at the right time, humanity-wise, um, yeah. to help people to really see the truth of who they are and to embrace their, their own journey and their own yeah. healing process. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And the great thing is it's not... It's, it's from spirit it's, it's their modality so which is lovely <laughs> exactly so it's kind of like you, you you're just the conduit and, i'm just the conduit that's what i always tell people you know even with my psychic ability exactly like, just you know, the I, I say i'm just a conduit I, i'm just the no. messenger so don't shoot the messenger you know exactly don't shoot the messenger <laughs> yeah we had this false this belief system around healers can take away your pain but they cannot no one can take away no. your pain you have to feel it yourself and that's why exactly. we bring the universal laws in because then it's so empowering when you heal yourself and not having to rely on yeah. something else it's amazing you know and um yeah the good like thing you're giving them the now, tools yeah, yeah you're giving yeah. them the tools to facilitate their own healing and facilitate their own releasing of the pain and the, the trauma and whatever it is you're giving them yeah. the tools to do it themselves yeah yeah absolutely you know and, and as, as as doing it as a healer you need to be able to obviously have psychic awareness and intuition because when I'm working, I see other lifetimes, they come forward. So I say, okay, right, this life is here now. So without them, so soon, okay, they'd understand that. So as soon as they acknowledge it, it lets it go. So there is a, there is a conduit for that, you know, but ultimately we, we heal ourselves. We're yes. just messengers. We just guide people. We say, okay, we're seeing this. This is what you need to look at right now. And that's the beauty about doing the healing work. It's not like I could go in and fix you. No, no. I can guide you. Yeah. I can bring your awareness to what you have suppressed. Uh, and that's the beauty of it. And um, yeah, yeah, it's a good yeah. way of working. Amazing. Yeah. Well, as ever, Paul, it's, it's always such a pleasure to chat with you and we can talk until the cows come home. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> there's so much to talk about in this subject. And I know, oh, God, yes. Absolutely. Um, you know we, we are always um, stuck for time. So it's my great honor and privilege to have you on here. And we will have you back again very soon. And um, anytime you would like to get a hold of Paul, all his details and um, you know contact details will be in the description below. So please click like and um, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more of, of this content. So Paul, thank you very much for sharing this beautiful, beautiful channeled message with us. I think it's, it's very poignant, as you say, and very apt and appropriate for 2024. Absolutely. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you so much. So thank you for joining us and we'll see you again same time, same same place next week. Bye for now. Bye-bye.